Hey, what's up, guys? So we're going to do a Bed Bath & Beyond review. I usually don't shop at Bed Bath & Beyond, but they sent me a really good coupon, $15 off of $50. Um, and so I needed lamps, and I was like, what the hell? So um, what I got was a five-light floor lamp. Well, I got two of them because my house is pretty, pretty uh, shabby when it comes to lighting. Um, it's like a 1940s house and back then for some reason they did not uh, really put in ceiling lights So every one of my rooms has um, except for my kitchen, which was recently redone um, Has lamps and everything casts a yellow glow um, When you look at your couch and your walls everything looks like it has jaundice and jaundice gives me PTSD flashbacks because my mom died um, and recently and when she died she had joined us so I don't want anything yellow <laughs> all right so what I did was to mitigate that problem I purchased by the way these need 10 light bulbs um, 60 watts and what I did was I got um, these on Amazon for $18.99 you get 24 uh, light bulbs by the way I hate LED <laughs> I hate just like the basic uh, incandescent light bulbs but what could you do they don't really make them anymore and I got daylight now, um, if you hate that jaundiced type of yellow light, always get daylight bulbs. Um, daylight is 5,000 K, which is equivalent to like 12 noon, the type of light that you get around 12 noon naturally. Um, the other one, the uh, soft white, usually casts that ugly yellow glow. So let's try these and make sure we don't have um, anything yellow <laughs> because I hate the color yellow. And uh, let's uh, see if I can put these together. Now, I pretty much suck. I can't even build an Ikea desk without building it upside down. And uh, let's check out how these lights work. By the way, they are in gold. I wanted them in chrome or silver, but uh, those were more money. So I went, uh, I went on the cheap and got gold color. All right, let's check it out. Oh, dear God, what have I gotten myself into? Uh, instructiones. Oh, shit. Wait, is it in English? Please, God. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Look at this. Oh, God. We got diagrams. Freaking diagrams. I don't know. Look at this. A, B, C, D. Oh, Maron. As this Italian say, Manacere Maron Bafanavola. Caution. Yeah, caution. I'll probably catch on fire from building this thing upside down. All right. Wish me luck. Oh, crap. Look at this. Already, I see. Yeah, I can't even get it out of the box. Look at this. Yeah, now we're going to have foam all over the house. Great. Super. All right, we got some shades in here, right? The future's so bright, I got some shades. All right, let's check it, check it out. Oh, crap. I'm really about to give up now. Look at this packing. I mean, it was like smashed in the box with like all smashed up broken foam. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see. How much of an idiot can I be? All right. So we got the base, right? All right. Here's the lamp part. And we got this little bait. Oh, my God. There's like foam everywhere. And that's a type that like gets static electricity. And then you can't get rid of it. And it'll be like attached to you. I'm, I'm actually covered in foam. It's sticking to me. All right. Let's get this base out. This screw first thing. Screw bottom B base into lamp stand and this is actually none of these are labeled so i'm assuming the most bottomest one is b <laughs> oh god why can't these goddamn things excuse my language just come completely built but i guess then the box would be way too big right all right look at all this foam like everywhere and my vacuum is out of water right now so i'm gonna have to like pray to God that the broom gets this up. All right, so, so far so good, right? I guess. All right, now it says, screw the middle pole C into the bottom lamp pole B. Clockwise, screw the upper pole D. Okay, all right, I think I got this. I think I got this. I can't be that much of an idiot, right? Okay, so this is what appears to be the next pole. And I guess I had to pull the cord through it. Let's do that. And of course, they have this freaking plastic stuck to it. It looks like the pole is built already, right? All right, maybe not so bad. Maybe I'm not as dumb 
as I thought. So now I've got to get all this plastic off and I guess screw this in. I'm not even going to further look at the instructions. <laughs> I hate instructions. After I got the mountain of plastic off, oh my god, that was like, I had to actually cut off with a scissor. This is what I'm left with. All right, let's try to screw this baby in. I just blew, there's like the foam pieces, like these little white things were like inside the shades and I just blew into it to get it out. And I got a piece of foam stuck in my eye right now. I'm like one eyed Willie over here. Oh my God, it's like stuck inside my eyeball. I might have to go to the ER. Oh God, all right, so it's his unscrew connector disc or whatever the hell you call it, right? And I guess put the shade in and then put this little connect the jammy in here if I can do it without um, ending up injuring myself. I really have that foam stuck in my eye right now. I kid you not, it is stuck in my eyeball. All right, now let me do the rest of them. Oh boy, oh boy, this does not look like it's going to be fun. All right, now it's light bulb time. Uh, yeah, it's I, I did one already. Uh, it is like the old joke, like how many, I'm not even going to go there because people think I'm racist. I'm only kidding. But how many blah, blah, blahs does it take to screw in a light bulb? Well, this Italian, uh, American, New Yorker actually screwed in the light bulb. I'm just going to show you what they look like. They, uh, compact pretty well. I'll put a link in the description below for these 24 daylights. And, uh, let me continue to screw in the light bulbs and we'll see, uh, how bright this light is without my ring light, by the way, because I got my ring light actually trying to brightening brighten up this room which is like really dark all right let's check it out so there it is um my impression i have no lights on it's daytime right now in my kitchen it's not as bright as i thought it would be um even with the daylight bulbs um now picture there's uh five 60 watt bulbs and as you can see it's really really not that bright i'm very very shocked actually and thank goodness I got the second lamp over there. Um, now what I'm noticing is it's very bright beneath it. Do you notice that? Look how much brighter it is. And then when you graduate up, it's like dark, right? Look at that. Hmm. Maybe, um, well, these all bend, by the way. These are uh, bendable. Maybe if I bend them and manipulate them into, you know, different positions, the lighting will change. But, uh... Really, I'm, I'm just very surprised. Um, it's really not that bright. Now, um, the daylight bulbs are awesome. Um, I'm very happy with the fact that this is not casting yellow, making everything look like it's jaundice. I mean, you know those yellow bulbs I'm talking about? They just make everything, like the walls look yellow, the couch, um, everything around you, even your own skin yellow. I mean, these are nice white bulbs. Look at that. That's uh, actually pretty. Um, pretty nice uh color um now uh i'll put in a link in the description below for these bulbs now um i'm not making even one shekel off of it from amazon so uh you know seriously i do these things just for fun you know i figure somebody will be interested out there i know i'm a little eccentric and a little boring and my videos are nonsensical but uh i figured somebody out there like there's an ass for every seat somebody will like me right and they'll give me a thumbs up please. <laughs> All right. So we're going to uh, check out the functions. There's four functions and uh, let's see how they work. And then you can see uh, this is day in my kitchen. This is the daytime in my kitchen, how dark it is. I mean, this is like outrageous. Look at that. All right. Now we're going to do it again. All right. And there you go. That's what it looks like. Um, Hmm. I mean, it could be better. I mean, 300 watts of light should be much brighter than that. But since I got two of them, actually, uh, that might uh, increase things and make it brighter since it'll be 600 watts, right? I suck at math. Let's see. Six times five. Yeah, 300 watts per lamp. There you go. All right. Now look at the mess I had to clean up. Oh, my God. The aftermath. And by the way, I got the uh, piece of foam out of my eyeball. I actually could not get it out. It was stuck inside my eyeball and now I can see again <laughs> and uh now there is light again there we go all right guys so long farewell see you guys all soon and I uh, hope you enjoyed this little presentation on how to build 
a five light floor lamp from Bed Bath & Beyond without building it upside down and uh, backwards <laughs> and I did it. All right guys, sayonara, arrivederci, goodbye.